Hi everyone. Okay, so um, um, we someone asked me about making these my rippers. <laughs> Guess what it's from? <laughs> um, this was looks like it's from some type of plastic wrap or aluminum foil, some type. Um, and this is the other side. So if you have an old plastic wrap or something. Um, you can make two of these. This is the um, cardboard side. And this is the really sharp side. The sharp side will cut cardstock, rip it. This side will do regular paper. So that's why you get two out of one. And um, I'll record this so everybody can watch it. So I'm going to open my box up. If you want a dollar store, I got a dollar store ruler. I don't know if I have any more rulers to show you. But when I got done with it, I just glued a ruler on. You can choose any ruler that you want. I covered mine in cardstock. So I'm just going to cut these tabs off of the first two and the last two. Cut those off. My daughter's bringing me a ruler. I was like, no, that's okay. Okay, so I have one, two. This is the cutter. One, two. Then this is the middle. I have the cutter and one. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut the um, middle one out. I'm not going to use it. Now your box, all boxes are different sizes. Some of the super rolls have more flaps than others. So, yeah. And this idea, I think... Vicki D. Hall shared this with me. Um, so I don't know who came up with the idea. I didn't. I don't know who did. I don't remember. Um, but I'm sure she probably could tell me who who actually came up with the idea. It's not my idea. Okay, so this is the part that rips paper. And I, I like to test them out to see how... Because some of them you get, you know, they don't really want to rip. Because they're, you know... The more expensive boxes are going to rip probably better. That looks pretty good. So, yeah. Look at that. Voila. So, that one rips pretty good, actually. Okay, so what I do now is I'm going to fold it back on itself. And you don't want to cut that, you know, you don't want to cut this part off. Leave it like that. You can do it like this. Or you can just leave it like this. However you want to do. But you need to cut this off past the um, parade edge. I need to cut it past that. So, I'm looking for, of course, I don't see. Huh. I had a marker somewhere. Oh, well. I don't know where it went. So, it needs to be shorter so you can get a good rip. So, right now, I'm just going to cut it like so. And then I'm going to come back and cut it, which I am not a good straight cutter. No, Kelly, looks, I can't. 
Okay, so that leaves me enough to tear. Let's see. I'm going to fold it over to get rid of that blue because I'm going to put some paper on it. And that blue will show through. And... Huh, just can't seem to find my stuff tonight. You got a bone folder. You can do this too. So let me test it out again to see if it's okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. You can use double-sided sticky tape. You can do regular glue. I'm going to use the hot glue because that's what works best for me. Stay away from the, the edge. I'm going to glue on the little piece and not the piece that has the jagged edges. And this slick paper, you have to have a certain type of glue for it to stick. So I'm just going to use the hot glue gun. Try not to burn my fingers. Okay, so there we go. And then you can put a ruler on top. And you have your ripper. The ruler makes it stiff and hard where it won't bend up on you. Okay, so I use this one to cut, to rip up regular paper. Um, let me try. This is a index card. And it ripped it pretty good. So, there you go. Now, so let's go to this one. So this one is like this one. See, I left a lot of gap. And I put it on the back of this one. Because it was a different box. I kind of layered it pretty good that one I did I layered it differently but it'll still work if you want to put another layer back here or put scrapbook paper it'd be good um, then you can put a ruler on top this one's the same way but with this one because it will bite you um, I think what I did on this one because it's gonna bite you let's see what I did Yep, okay. This one's kind of thin. So you know what I'm gonna do? That one's kind of, it's kind of skinny right there. Let me get my piece back out. Oh, and it had a rip up there. Mm, that's not good, that's okay. I think what I'm going to do with this one's a little bit different because I definitely want a bigger piece to rip off of. It's just too short to not wide enough. This piece is just not wide enough. So I'm going to glue it down. Make sure it doesn't bite me. I'm going to hold it. I don't want to get in my teeth. Ha ha. I'm going to put this down over that like so. Okay. And then I'm going to put this over this. Or you can put, I think I might just, I wish I had a longer piece. I may just cut it off here. the teeth will run out on the edge anyway. And it will make it sturdier. Am I still on? Okay. Oh, and that's metal. Oops, got it. I'll throw this piece away. So, oh, mm -hmm, yeah. No, I'm not going to save it. <laughs> no saving! Throw it away. that up a little bit. Now I'm going to watch the teeth again. And I'm going to put this on top. It's 
do off the teeth. And I can cover it with scrapbook paper. Okay, now we're going to see how well it bites. <laughs> so, hold it down. Wow. Do you hear that sound? <laughs> Let's do that again. Wow. Pretty cool. Okay, that's great. So, let me see if I got any papers over here that we can practice on. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here's some of the pieces that was left over. We could practice on that. So normally for um, the regular paper, I don't use the one that has the metal. Usually for regular cardstock, or I'm sorry, regular printer paper. I'll get it on a minute. I just use the other side, and it does a pretty rip. Okay. Now if you want more of a bite, more of a jagged edge, you can use the one, and it gives a different um, edging. Okay, I'm making sense. Now, different brands will have different edges. Um, you can get like wax paper has different. Some of see this one has more. This one has larger teeth, deep teeth, and then this one doesn't. This one has like double teeth. I don't know if you can see that. This is like zigzag teeth, and this looks like tulip teeth. So they're going to be different. Uh, how they look when you rip them. So let's try the one that I made from something else. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, it gave a different impression. And then, of course, when you distress it, it's, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So let me pick up distresser. I'm about out of co cocoa here. You see how that one... And then... So look at your things when you empty them because <laughs> that would be one less thing that you would end up that would end up in the trash you know to be in recycled that would be one less thing that went into the landfill so look at your different ones because each one would be different and when you go buy your saran wrap make sure that you get one that has the teeth and the cardboard because some just have the cardboard and those wear out really fast so um i will um cover this with uh, some pretty paper and go and get a dollar store ruler and put on here and i'll be good to go so i hope you enjoyed this and um i will see you later in the videos tomorrow bye guys